I just finished my summer internship at a small company working as a software developer. This was my first ever coding job and in this video I will tell you what a typical day was like so you can be a little bit more prepared for your first coding job or if you're just curious. Either way, let's get into it. I would usually get up at 8, shower, eat breakfast and take it easy for a little bit. I'm not much of a morning person so I'm not in a rush here. Once ready though, I would commute to work which would take around 30 minutes. I worked 40 hours a week but the timing was flexible. I would typically get in at 9.45 and start my computer. While it was starting up, I would brew myself a cup of decaf. If I had normal coffee, I wouldn't be able to sit still. I spent the first half hour catching up on what the hell I was working on the day before, as well as emails and other admin tasks. By 10.30, I was in the flow of things and developing new features or fixing bugs. Whatever the task was, I would be on top of it. My core task, though, was to make improvements to some older internal applications the company uses, as they hadn't received enough love recently. I worked with something called Qt or Qt, which is a user interface framework built on top of C++. I think it's primarily used for embedded development, but also for regular GUIs on desktops or even phones. When I started two months ago, I had never written a line of Qt or C++ code before. This was my first time with the language and I only knew Python prior to starting this. I was worried at the start because C++ is hard, but now after 10 weeks of it, I feel very comfortable using it for anything. It just shows that things usually work out. If you're nervous about your first coding job, all you need is the right attitude and you'll be fine. I was allowed to have lunch whenever I wanted and for how long I wanted as long as I worked 40 hours that week, excluding lunch of course, but I preferred to eat with the others and for however long they ate because I enjoyed the company. Every Sunday I would be meal prepping and that's what I had for lunch each day, so I made my own food. By 12.30 I'm back in action and writing more code. I used Google Sheets as well as Bugzilla to document what I did and to see what's next. There were large amounts of bugs reported and I was working through them one by one, always learning something new. To learn C++ and get into it faster, I spent $10 on the Code with Mosh C++ course and $20 twice on a GPT-4 subscription. So those are tools you can consider if you want to learn faster. By 2 o'clock I would have normally made myself another decaf coffee that I would have at my desk. My desk by the way was located in a nice open environment where I could openly spout any questions I would have. There were lots of those in the first two weeks but after that I was fairly independent. By 4 o'clock it would usually be time for a code review. That's when a colleague who knows more than I do sits down and inspects my code. In the first couple of weeks I would be left with a long list of fixes to make after each code review, but by the end of it, it would only consist of minor adjustments. I didn't do code reviews every day, but it was at least three times per week. Besides code reviews and asking questions, I didn't interact much with the rest of the team during a typical day. We would all be working on different projects, and I like being in my own bubble when coding, so my advice to you is be prepared to work on your own as well as working in teams. By 5 o'clock, the code review would be done and all minor adjustments would have been made as well. After that, it was time to merge and push my changes to the company git remote repository. I was not very familiar with git in the beginning and made many mistakes but just like with C++ by the end of it all I was fluent in that as well. This only takes a minute and when it's all done most of my co-workers would have left and I would have my own hackathon in the now quiet office. I would get a shocking amount of code done in this time not only because it was quiet but also because I seemed to be an evening person. I would leave at around 6, 7 ish, go home, eat, play Zelda and then go to bed. These are some frequently asked questions. How did I get my job slash internship. My mom knows the company manager and they needed someone for an internship so I got it that way. Did I get paid? Yes, I made $17 an hour. Was it hard? Yes, but I'm grateful for that because I learned so much. I hope that was valuable to you and that it prepares you for your internship or first job as a coder. For me, it's back to university and YouTube for another year. Be sure to like and subscribe because I will be uploading many great things just for you. Thanks for watching and take care.